Hey everybody, welcome back. So, um, real quick before we get going, uh, a couple changes real quick. Uh, so, for any of you guys who actually watch my LPs and um, are not just watching the book, you'll remember in the last video it was uh, Byron who was quite upset about the Durhands. Unfortunately, um, Byron has passed away since the last video, so if you hear a dog, it's now Mumford. <laughs> we have a new puppy, so... Hopefully, he's not as barky as Byron was, but I'm sure he'll still cause mischief. So I apologize now, because we have I've never had a puppy personally, so I don't know what kind of mischief he's going to get us in. So, anyways. Um, these guys, oh my gosh, Garus. So, the Battle Leon. Once, when nobles amused themselves battling in their rooms, Battle Leon enjoyed an endless succession of victor victories. It was It is a reliable and obedient monster to have on the same boat. It's really random. It had victorious victories. Can I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. It's also been oh, probably almost a month since I've recorded. So I'm ah, trying to it's coming at us. D I think he just falls asleep. He got knocked out during battle. Yeah, it's, it's cute. I don't really have anything against the design of this one. So, The Garu! Energetic at all times. Always curious. A little bit of a coward, but when it has to, it'll fly, jump, and push its way through. Such quality makes Garu a very popular monster. Is it a dachshund? <laughs> Mumford's looking at us like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's only four months old, so... He was actually barking at the microphone earlier, and it wasn't even doing anything. It was literally just sitting on the table, and he's like, oh my gosh, it's a thing! Yep, it's Garu. I kind of like him. We started the one. We started with the Garu, I think, actually. I think they always try to force you to start with one. No, that was in four. What am I talking about? Sorry. It's been too long. I know. Moose. Moose. Sub hair. It makes people melt when it hugs you with its fluffy moose hair. It should be raised with affection and love. It will turn a long, hard journey into an enjoyable time. I do think it's cute. I like how it's got two different moose. It's got the moose like the animal and moose as in like the chocolate or hair. You know, actually, I actually don't know what that would be. I think it'd be chocolate. Chocolate? But you don't put chocolate in your hair like hair no, moose. Don't. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Not really a fan of this one, but it's not bad either. I mean, uh, again, makes sense. The Mochigaru, which is creepy looking. Mochigaru was a guard at a high-ranking office. It hates bullying, and when the enemy is a big monster, Mochigaru will grow in size itself to match the enemy. Ew. It just looks like a creepy naked goblin. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Say no to crack. Uh, no, I just, uh, no. Moving back. <laughs> Moving on, I guess. The Myrmagaru, which actually does look better in my opinion. You have it. Oh, it's sub Subnaga. You have an interesting taste if you have taken notice of this cute slash yunky monster. But this one is more eccentric than it looks, so it needs good taking care of. So is this in the line of plushies? Yeah. Shake that tail. Shake that <laughs> tail. Wolfie! I like wolfies. If you are in pursuit of cuteness and coolness together, Wolfie is the choice for you. If you want strength on top of that, that is up to you. <laughs> yeah, I actually like this mix. It's not as powerful as some of the other ones, but it definitely has good speed and skill. So, And I really like the design. I like how they did the horns. Shadow. Sub, um, Ripper. Shadow is said to be able to predict weather and earthquakes, but it won't share the prediction with anyone. <laughs> Try touching the tip of its nose. If it is wet, it will rain tomorrow. <laughs> okay. He's got a cute tail. I, I like the design. I think he did a good job with the tail, actually. I never really noticed that before. The Tri-Eye. Just sub... Swayzo. Gosh, I'm like... I'm brain farting on all these. If you can see try I three times a day, a miracle will happen. Well, one, and that will happen every day. It is is the rumor that circulates among kids, so let's train it well to prevent embarrassment. Okay. That is a weird looking Garu. I kind of wish they had put a little eyeball on the tip of his tail. Ooh, that would have been That would have been creepy. Yeah, that would just be creepy. creepier. Zabel. The first person... Sub, Subzan. The first person who saw Zabel sealed under... Hold on. The first person who saw Zabel sealed it under a spell and surprise. As Garu is called the child of the sun, this one is called the child of the moon. Mm. It's so freaking black, I literally can't tell you anything about it. It just looks like a big black blob. It has a fluffy tail, though. It does have a very fluffy tail. It's got red eyes, too, which makes me think of monols. 
the Capitano, which is sub... What's that thing called? Piruro. <laughs> a performer with ample pride and heart. Battling is a stage to it. Oh, it's battle spectacle never lets spectators down. You know what? I didn't even know this thing existed. I must have I skipped by either. it really quickly. Okay, I love the cape effect for the tail, but the rest of it's a little kind of creepy. Yeah, I had no idea either. It's still better than the mochi one, so... The Ingaru. <laughs> <laughs> it's Yoda! Ingaru is one of the most complete and refined in, in spirit amongst Garu species. However, observ observation of his daily activities casts a doubt on that reputation. I guess he is supposed to be Yoda, isn't Yoda. he? Yoda! Mumford doesn't know what to think of this. I should also warn you guys that Mumford's afraid of the TV, so hopefully he won't like start barking at it from there. We don't know what caused him to bark at the TV. Oh, now gone to gels. Gels. Incibel, there are creepy rumors that this monster can be found in the cocoons made by worms. Its battling abilities are highly regarded. Yeah, I think I mentioned this before. I I liked the gel style of one in Monster Hunter One, and I liked the style in three. But I just didn't like it anywhere else. Like, here I'm not a fan. Even though it's very similar to one, there's something they did about it that just... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Long day at work. Just need to relax. You know, I think it's like they made him very wobbly in the first one, but here he just looks drunk. I don't know. I'm not against the, the very human -y form. It's just his basic movements. Like I think they did a better job in one, but eh, I still like it. Although three was my favorite. He just <laughs> it was this little chibi blob. Flame gel. This is a monster made from a slimy material that looks like scales and pattern form. There are many mysteries surrounding this monster, but its firm body holds high potential in battles. This is one of the very few monsters I wish I could show you the underneath, like you could in the in one. Because it always had a really cool look to it. It's interesting. It looks sort of like a magma monster. Yeah, he's sub-dragon. Sub-garu. Gal. 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 An unfortunate monster which could not get the popularity because it has a girl's name. Hoped for <laughs> by emulating the pattern design of the popular Garu. It steps up to its battles, converting its jealousy into strength. Yeah. It just has the same patterning. It is ugly. Ugly. <laughs> the gel. Gel. A strange monster that can transform into anything it wants. It's laid back and it's it is yeah, it's laid back and loves islands. A scientist stole the idea for for the helicopter from its gel copter. That's one of its moves, I think. I haven't played with a gel in a really long time. I actually tried to start a gel on this one, thinking somebody said he could use the the water uh trick, but I couldn't get mine to use it. Jibier gel. You'll see after touching it that it does actually have hair. There are mixed opinions regarding its softness, but we know that it loves a bit of flattering. Now some of the gels, they just don't look nice. I kind of wish they had given him tiny ears. Yeah. I mean, if he can transform anything he wants, you think they give him tiny ears. Dark cell. Ugh. <sighs> that was a really loud yawn. A monster that is a cumul accumulation, cu bleh, a cum culmination of hate and vengeance of monsters that were defeated by Joker. It will gladly take part in any training to defeat Joker. I'm probably going to have to edit out that yawn. It was insanely loud. It actually scared Mumford. That looks like something that belongs in Parasite Eve and creeps me out. Mm. No. Tar monster. We're moving on. Momo Slime. <laughs> mysterious monster with a pink body emitting strange pheromones. However, it has a good reputation with many connoisseurs and cannot be misunder can't be understood. <laughs> it can't be it can't be misunderstood. Yeah, look at that thing. You can't possibly misunderstand it. No. I love the hearts. Should it work in a bakery? Trey bien. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's an obscure reference. Ripper Slime, a mysterious gel that possesses chlorophyll inside its body. In order for it to survive, it needs to sunbathe, opening its gel parasol. It is by no means idling, so be careful. I actually had one of these in one of the first Monster Hunter games. That was actually one of my favorite gels. I just, like I said, I just don't like the design of it. There's movement or something. It's the movement, yeah. Whoa. Pedorolino. It's said that there resides a the soul of a performer inside this flexible body. But whether it can actually do this or not depends on whether it feels like it or not. <laughs> so it's a definite maybe. I like and dislike this.
I think they did a really good job on the bottom half, and I kind of like what they did with the face being black, but it's also just creepy. Yep. I, I did it well, but it's creepy. <laughs> Del Nico shows kindness towards reds and reds and fury towards blues. It is full of kindness life, but reveals its fury when it comes to battles. This large gap in personality is sure to surprise you. You're so is he me. red with blue or blue with red? You're making me yawn. He made me think of red versus blue. No, not the Star Trek episode with the flying black Oh my and black gosh! And white. That was an amazing episode. Oh my god, that makes me want to watch that one. That was such a good episode. Okay, so that's the end of that. So we'll see you guys next time when we do two more species. So bye for now. Goodbye.